Gambia's electricity prices are among the highest in the world, which makes the use of alternative energy sources such as solar, wind, and biomass increasingly attractive. The major energy resources in the Gambia are firewood, electricity, petroleum imports, and liquefied petroleum gas. Due to the rapid population growth, demand for energy has far outstripped the ability of the state-owned utility, NAWEC, to supply the country. The energy project, I think, has set the pace for utilizing regime energy in an energy mix. And these are the probably the only major area so far we are having renewable energy. So now from that we want to upgrade everything to at least we are targeting at least 50 percent or 60 to 50 percent of our energy from, 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 from renewables. That's what the, our target is. So I think and the, the project is set the pace for that, that, that um, objective. Uh, the project was focused on bringing the productive sector of the Gambian economy and it uh, promoted renewable energy projects. By that I mean it was given funding to organizations that can do renewable energy projects. It did so many renewable energy projects and definitely all these projects contributed to the power supply in the country. Some of them are off-grid systems but they help a lot in terms of providing power to the organizations. So we can basically say the project was really very good. It didn't only promote renewable energy uh, projects in the Gambia, but it, 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 it definitely implemented concrete projects, which will go a long way to have impact on our socioeconomic development. As a result, the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, in collaboration with the Ministry of Petroleum and Energy and the National Environment Agency, has implemented the fifth cycle of the Global Environment Facility supported project in the Gambia titled Greening the Productive Sectors, promoting the use and integration of small to medium scale renewable energy systems in the productive sectors. The objective of the UNIDOJ5 project is to promote market-based use and integration of small to medium-scale renewable energy system in the productive sectors. The project has three technical components, among which the monitoring and evaluation. Those components are the development of strategy and regulation of small to medium-scale renewable energy systems, the demonstration of technical feasibility, and you also have the promotion of investments and development of renewable energy projects and entrepreneurship skills. Mbolo, whose meaning is to join or come together, is an association located in the village of Tujering that promotes the empowerment and improvement of the welfare of women by strengthening their productive capacities and abilities through training and entrepreneurship and access to a revolving fund. Pandema is working with um, young girls who in one way or the other hasn't uh, been able to finish school and they, are, they want to come here to learn a trade. And then one of the areas, the basic uh, activities that we are doing is to train young girls on how to become solar installers. Um, being that also to make sure that the facility is being able to be 100% powered by solar. We generate a lot of activities, activities like was washing service for the community and the women will be paying small token and you are also avoiding that four hours of the women washing. For instance, for 30 minutes, you can easily pay $20 or $25, and it can be dried. We also have a drying system, which is all done by renewable energy. And the other part is the, 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 the food preservation that we, we do through this, baking bread, and then doing all kinds of cakes for the community. So all these are what we call activities that are generated by, um, by the solar industry. So this is where we get the, 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 the income for us to be able to sustain if there is any material that got spoiled here, from that money is what we use to make sure that we repair.
The University of the Gambia, the highest citadel of learning, has benefited from the Unidoja 5 project with a 100 kilowatt solar powered system at the Peace Building, which will provide the entire energy needs of the university campus in Canifing. The benefits are enormous. Number one, as far as financial, financial uh, position is concerned, we, will, we are spending about 2.5 million per year for the purchase of cash power for this peace building. Because all the administrator, principal officers, and uh, administration is uh, housed in this building. And a lot of uh, we are spending on the purchase of cash power per, per, per year. So it will help us to saving at least 80% of these revenue. And the second will be the impact on the environment. As I mentioned that it is a friendly, uh, environment friendly and we will have a great impact on the environment. The Medical Research Council at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine has installed one of the largest solar systems in the Gambia with a total capacity of over 500 kilowatt power. The goal of the project is to harness the sun's energy and convert it to electrical power to be fed directly into the unit's internal distribution electrical system to increase and offset its consumption cost. So in, the, in this context, you know, going to a more green energy was almost natural uh, because uh, so we want really to give also our contribution to, 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 to the reduction of the carbon footprint. Well, I mean, there are clear benefits. You know, we did a calculation and an estimation before starting this project and uh, we, we, we saw that that investment could be re retrieved in, in about five years. So, uh, so we have calculated that each year we, we are uh, avoiding 400 tons of uh, CO2. So currently uh, the, the solar power produce about 14% of our total consumption, but we are planning to expand it to make it up to 25%. Um, so in terms of, you know, it is good to reduce the carbon footprint, but at the same time in terms of uh, um, you know, from the point of view, financial point of view, it makes a lot of sense because we, we actually reduce our consumption of fuel and electricity. So I, I, I think it's, it's, it's really the, 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 the way for the, uh, to the future. So if you look at our performance, um, you can see how many, how many tons of carbon we've avoided, uh, how many liters of diesel we've avoided over here. So we've avoided pro probably for um, over 430 tons of uh, carbon emissions and also over 150,000 liters of diesel because we burn with uh, diesel generators. And these are just metrics over here which shows this green is our, the great yellow here is solar and here our gen sets. And I mean with this, this is for the last 30 days, this is for the last 12 months. And you can see that the solar is 14% of our energy production over here in the unit, which is great because it means that 40% of our energy cost has been offset. The National Environment Agency, a body responsible for regulating environmental aspects of development in the country, particularly as it concerns electricity generation and consumption. And this project has impacted greatly in and in, in, in providing sustainable policies or friendly policies in the country, as well as I mean, I mean uh, demonstrating pilot program or activities through the Mbolo Association program that tells the people, I mean, and the, I mean, the population that I mean, renewable energy is a way out for the country to help us fight against the impacts of climate change. So this is a very important project for us and it has really changed the mindset of the people and also of the business community in I mean, contributing or employing the use of renewable energy systems in their companies and in their households.
a revolving entrepreneurship fund of over $100,000 managed by Pura to promote the deployment of renewable energy equipment by providing necessary financial support to Gambian youth and women has been a novel concept and remarkable success for beneficiaries in significant sectors of the Gambia. So the impact of the project is that um, it really um, changed the lives of many of the youth and women that applied because um, not everybody had access to electricity uh, to be able to use uh, energy sustainably. For Pira, um, it also demonstrated that um, with the training and the um, exposure we had working with UNIDO, and they were very supportive, that the Renewable Energy Fund could really be um, expanded and also used as an instrument to fund um, projects in the Gambia. The project has registered um, significant achievements with a total capacity of 1.2 megawatt solar panel installation across the entire country. It has also contributed to a rapid growth of the productive sectors, the livelihoods, the general quality of life in the local communities, as well as the overall um, energy situation in the Gambia. We have witnessed um, the increase in number of women and youth technicians and entrepreneurs in the renewable energy sector, which has um, brought about transformational um, socioeconomic benefits. We have also seen an increased level of um, electricity generation and consumption and also a reduction in the importation of fossil fuels for power generation and the reduction in greenhouse gas emission. As the voice of the private sector, the Gambia Chamber of Commerce and Industry has benefited from the Unido Jeff project to power its trade fairground and incubation center. The use of renewable energy in the incubation center is innovative as it goes directly for productive uses. Now, what we've done over the last um, few years have been first uh, met the challenge of running on um, generators, was that the cost was a lot higher, but secondly, also the maintenance was also an issue from time to time with skills as well as the availability of the parts. Um, so here we are now um, playing, hopefully, a greener um, impact to the environment to ensure that uh, we contribute less um, destruction to the environment, but also um, at the same time assuring availability of energy all the time so that we can serve our members. I can further confirm that we've halved our energy bill um, where we used to pay on about um, 300,000 a year. Since this new installation we now have, have um, half the cost of electricity to pay and this one of course is free, well not necessarily free, but um, after the initial installation, um, there is a payback period that we expect of three to five years. So really, um, the tremendous benefits of renewable energy investment cannot be overemphasized. After the completion of the Unidoja 5 projects, investments are expected to increase due to the long-term outcomes of the project activities. The policy components uh, will strengthen the policy and institutional framework to enhance uh, penetration and scaling up of renewable energy systems by small to medium-sized enterprises. Also, we have the awareness raising and capacity building activities will contribute indirectly towards uh, a significant reduction of the carbon dioxide emissions. 